Walking back is running with Dr. Andrew. Get this done, eight mile run. Come on guys, you can do it. All right, welcome back everyone. I'd like to talk to you about some uh, side steps, some hip strengthening exercises. First thing we're gonna do is to do a side step exercise. Um, so you can wrap, um, wrap a band around your, your knee and that can help out with stability there. You can kind of see whatever you walk to the side that helps with stabilizing your your, your legs and um, definitely that can help with your your running there too. So then, and also with this exercise what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a slight bend in your knees. With research you find that helps with um, with uh, activating your gluteus minimus and medius muscles uh, a little bit better. And so this other exercise that we're going to do is more of a we call it a monster walk and uh, you can put this you know band around your ankle or your knees on either either of them the sidestep or the monster walk the further down your legs are the harder it is um, for you and um, gets a little bit more more challenging there you can go forward and backwards with this or here's just creating a little bit of stability there so you know, typically I'll do this exercise for about uh, about two minutes or so both with the um, sidestep and the monster walk and creating some stability for running. These are very good, important muscles to, to train. Next one I'm going to do is a single leg sit to stand exercise. <clears throat> this helps with uh, stabilizing your, your hip and your knee and your ankle during, uh, during running. You can kind of tell that when you do this exercise you're small muscles in your foot will be stabilizing trying to keep you upright trying and then also trying to keep your knee nice and even there too so whenever you do this also you make sure that your knee doesn't go past your toes when you're doing this so you know kind of watch for that there and if you have difficulty doing this you can always have a some sort of pole or something to um uh, some sort of pole or something like that to kind of help out with your your stability there Again, my, my left leg is a little bit weaker than my right leg there. Um, so. and you'll definitely notice one leg is a little weaker than the other leg there. Alright, the next exercise that we're going to do is a uh, bridging exercise. And I'm doing some kind of double leg bridge exercise and doing them single leg eccentric exercise that definitely the eccentric part will help build strength that's how when we do exercises when you build muscles more the eccentric part of the, the exercise the eccentric part is more the lowering what happens is whenever you when you go when i'm going up i'm shortening the muscle then when i go down i'm lengthening the muscle so that lengthening part is when you we really build strength with that and so also doing some single leg um, bridges as well. So these all help kind of stability and help with strength there. And again, our uh, running is a single leg sport. You have to have good stability uh, on one leg um, in order to have less pain and also improve strength and, and speed. You definitely want that strength when you're running. It's a good stability, especially if you're running long distances. You want uh, you want to have that stability for 26 miles. You know, um, build that endurance. So next exercise is the table topper type of exercise, which you're going to do really squeeze your your hips up top uh, on top there, and that helps kind of stretch out your front part of your 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 thighs there. You've got a muscle called the psoas major, and that muscle can get tight and weak, uh, that tight, and so then you get weak on the on the gluteus maximus. So um, just from sitting all day long and 
and um, uh, driving, you know, things like that that will, help, that will tighten up those psoas major hip flexor muscles there. So this gives you a chance to really kind of help stabilize those muscles better with, with that. Uh, um, to help with sta stabilizing those muscles there. Um, well, that concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed those exercises. I think they're great to add to your exercise program uh, for running, for anything. I think those are great for everybody to do uh, to help create stability and during running or hiking or trail running, anything that you're doing, uh, even even mountain biking, I think that's a great thing to do to you, but definitely running is, like I said, running is a single leg sport, you, you are on one leg until you go on to the next leg, so I, I think it's important to help that stability, if not, what happens is your hip does drop down, and that can create some problems where your knee goes in, and then you start to utilize other muscles that are not uh, designed to do what that, to do do what you're doing and that will create some some problems uh, for you, some strains and um, potentially some pain and, and delaying your, your training so definitely you want to not be able to, you, you don't want to delay your training so that way you're, you're, you're fresh and you're ready for your for your race that you're, you uh, are training for or just for you know just healthy we don't want to you know obviously be injured all the time when we're running you want to make this fun even just the, during the daily um, daily runs you know basically you know our races are basically the lit, uh, victory lap of of our uh, of our training that we did there too so definitely the uh, the training is kind of, of what we do and, uh, and why we enjoy running so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, like and subscribe uh, if you like this video uh, give me some comments down below. Let me know what type of training regimens, what type of strengthening exercises you do. I'd like to also like to maybe do some, you know, talk about some plyometric exercises down the road uh, and show you guys the proper ways and, and some gentle ways to start with some plyometric exercises. And what that is is basically some quick stretching on the muscles there, doing some jumping and landing exercises uh, to help with the explosiveness of your, your running and build a little bit of strength uh, with that. And so, um, if you have uh, comments, comment below, and we'll uh, keep running, uh, keep safe, and we'll see you next time.